George, here you can over here, Lights on Data Show, live all location, Big Data London. And here at Zenalytics Booths with Paul Blankley, CTO and founder. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. I always enjoy having these talks with you. So I was happy to see you guys have a presence here as well. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're excited to be here. So the conference is buzzing so far and yeah. we're, we're excited. Yeah. Well, first, my first question is, I want to find out how Zoe's been doing. So Zoe, Zoe's doing great. We've been increasingly giving her new tools and helping her upskill, yep. um, become smarter both about just how she, how she deals with complexities in data and do a better job understanding like the business's context to make sure that she's providing uh, really, really helpful and thorough, thorough answers. Beautiful. Who would you say is the main target audience for Zoe? Is it data professionals, data engineers, or is it the non-technical users as well? That's a, that's a great question. Um, and I like to say the target for Zoe is the 89%. And what I mean by that is that in any organization, about 1% of the people are the developers. Those are like data engineers, you know, very, very technical writing code. Uh, maybe another 10% are the analysts. They might know a little SQL, they can use like more technical products like Tableau or Power BI. Um, but 89% of the people in the business are not analysts or developers. They're, yeah. And they're underserved by all sort of BI products to date. And that's who Zoe's built for. Zoe's right. built for the 89%. Yeah, I love it because it's democratizing that data and it's allowing everybody to be able to get that information and action based on the data that they would have access to. Oh yeah, it's, it's super important. And it's, it's a big friction point for a lot of businesses that are trying to you know, roll out BI uh, solutions right now is that there's the, the back and forth between the technical people trying to use the technical product to answer these very simple sort of business questions. Yep. Um, it's a really frictiony process and it's tough for everybody. For sure. Now, before we started this talk, you were mentioning that you're having a presentation tomorrow about agents. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Because from what I hear, it's up and coming. It's what we're going to see more of in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll be talking on agents versus uh, co-pilots. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be like a co-worker versus a co-pilot. Uh, the difference there is that a co-pilot is going to be something that sort of makes you a little bit faster at doing a task, where an agent is going to be something where you delegated the task and it goes off and it iterates, it figures it out, it interacts with other systems, and it actually goes and accomplishes the work for you. In the future, I think we're going to see a lot more AI agents in, in software systems that we use that are able to end-to-end -end accomplish things sort of on our behalf as opposed to just being a one or two X multiplier on how fast we can do things. Well, thank you so much and uh, looking forward to your talk. And uh, thanks again for bringing lights on uh, Zenlytic as well as uh, telling us more about AI agents. Great, thank you so much, George. Yeah, really appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's been it. a pleasure. Thank you.